There's Christians in there because they cannot forgive. They just would not forgive. God says, if I have forgiven your sins and remember them no more, why can you forgive? But now it was too late. They wanted to forgive. They're screaming in there, I forgive you. I forgive you. Get me out of here. I want to be set free. I want to do what's right. I want to go speak the word. I want to go. I just want to live my life for you. But it says it's too late. As I'm walking through this third road, there's fire and there's screaming, there's shouting, and people saying that, let me out. Let me out. I, I want to do right. I want to do right this time. I promise to do right. Let me go out and tell the world and let them know that this is a real place. Hell is real. But it's too late because once we have our opportunity and our chances, God is so merciful, He's so lovable, He gives you chance after chance after chance and if we don't take that chance, that's where we're going to go. There was also people in there because they had no love and no, uh, no forgiveness for their others. It says, pray for your enemies. It says in the Word of God, if you have no love, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. If you have no forgiveness, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Because God is pure love. Every one of these people that were being tortured and burned, there's no sleep, there's no rest, there's no food, there's no water. These callers were stupid humans. That's the way they talk. That's the way they think of us. That we're stupid because we're so dumb to listen to every little lie that the enemy says. And I've seen a lot of these Christians in there for that.